Thank you. And uh, this morning, it was, I, was trying, I was playing the didgeridoo, and my voice was a little funny, and it reminded me. I, I've had a cold for the last couple of weeks, and in the morning, I'd get up, and my voice wasn't, wasn't there. One day, I came downstairs. Phone rang. I picked up the phone. Hello? And he said, Norman? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and we, we talked for a while, and then he said, have you, filled, have you filled out your will yet? And I said, it's not that bad. <laughs> And I, I, I assume people know what a didgeridoo is. It's a piece of wood that the termites eat the middle out of. And they put a little bit of beeswax on the end. And you flap your lips through them. And you get some sounds. I think it'll work this way. Thank you, Denise and Rick, for being our features today. Wonderful start for the weekend. So, uh, these are actually the lyrics to a song that I wrote and is on my CD, Quiet Fire. And uh, I decided, I'd wake up and smell the poetry, I would recite it as a poem. And practicing for this, I was reminded that they may have the same words, but a set of lyrics and a poem are not the same thing. They're delivered differently in terms of pace, rhythm, and emphasis. And uh, sometimes that leads to um, bringing in the light something that was uh, unnoticed before, or uh, maybe even uncovering new meanings. So. I write this. I wrote this uh, song just short of uh, six years ago, and I haven't been able to stop singing it or, as today, recite it since then. Its title is Six, and uh, in uh, horrible uh, irony, yesterday was the sixth anniversary of Newtown. Winter morning magic as we walk to school. Jack Frost makes you smile. You are only six. Hearing others laugh, you rush on to join. Then you turn around and shyly wave goodbye. They say guns don't do the killing. I say they are wrong. Someone buys some bullets and puts them in his gun. And since he has a semi, his work is quickly done as he shoots our little children. 
one by one by one. Late sun, long shadows mark this lonely path through our weary churchyard. How the world has slipped. Standing in attendance as you slowly leave. Then I turn around as if to say goodbye. You were only six. Thank you. Um, this is uh, a change of pace from what we've been hearing. Um, it is a uh, Manhattan poem. I always think of it as uh, as having uh, maybe maybe it could have taken place in Boston, but it took place in Manhattan. This is called Imagination. This poem does not have a radio playing in the background, though if it did, it would be Ella Fitzgerald singing Imagination. We're not at the movies, but if we were, it would be a black and white French film so poorly subtitled that in a few minutes we'd give up trying to read them, would sit in the dark watching the flickering screen mesmerized by a woman who might be Edith Piaf as she talks quietly with a man who is her lover. Or he may be a brother she hasn't seen in years, or a stranger who will become her lover. When the movie ends, we walk up Broadway to get a cup of coffee. Just as we step inside, the lights in the rear of the coffee shop go out. We're told it's too late. The place is closing. No one is there except a counterman. But if someone were there, it would be William Powell, Myrna Loy, and a wire-haired fox terrier. You'd say, look, it's Nick and Nora Charles and Aster. I guess we could keep walking to look for another coffee shop. But I can't understand why this one won't stay open in my own poem. <laughs> I asked the counterman if he knows who I am. He says he doesn't care who I am. He's closed. <laughs> you tell me I should have told you you were going to see Nick and Nora in the poem. You would have dressed. At the corner of 86, Two cops are in the middle of the street to block traffic. A brass band, the kind that plays New Orleans funeral, rounds the corner, high-stepping, striding onto Broadway, raucously playing when the saints go marching in. You say, please, enough is enough, and the poem ends. <laughs> <coughs> I have to thank Kellyanne Conway for the phrase alternative facts. <laughs> alternative. Oh, sorry. This is too far away. I didn't notice it coming. Okay. Alternative facts, despicable acts, chronic denier, pathological liar. Alternative facts, we got hacked. Misdirection, rigged election, it's time for insurrection. Stand up, speak out, come on, come on and fight. Rage, rage against the dying of our rights. Alternative facts, he don't pay tax. Enough with the tweets, do we dare to impeach? Alternative facts, he lacks humility, civility, ability. 
stand up, speak out. Come on, come on and fight. Rage, rage against the dying of our rights. Make America great again means make America white. Let's make America think again. Jail to the chief, he is plundering our nation. Stand up, speak out, come on, come on and fight. Rage, rage against the dying of our rights. Stand up, speak out, come on, come on and fight. Hopkinton. I want to thank you all for coming because today you're in for a real treat. You've all heard my son Bill play the guitar and you may have heard him reciting poetry with me. But today Bill's going to break out in song because I've asked him to join me in singing a Christmas carol. How about a hand for my son Bill? Thank you. This is the 12 days of Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love sent to me three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me, everybody, five <laughs> golden <laughs> rings. Three French hens, two, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me, Six geese are laying. Five golden rings. Four calling birds. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. And a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love sent to me seven swans are swimming. Six geese are laying. Five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French and two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. <clears throat> On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five, five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French and two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me. Ten lords are leaping. Nine ladies dancing. Eight maids are milking. Seven swans are swimming. Six geese are laying. Five, five golden rings. Four calling birds. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. And a partridge in a pear tree. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love sent to me eleven pipers piping. Ten loads are leaping. Nine ladies dancing. Eight meats are milking. Seven swans are swimming. Six geese are laying. Five, five golden rings. Four calling birds. Three, three French hens. Two turtle doves. And a partridge in a pear tree. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me. Twelve drummers drumming. Eleven pipers piping. Ten lords are leaping. Eight, nine ladies. Oh boy, ten lords are leaping. Nine ladies dancing. Eight maids are milking. Seven sons are spinning. Five golden rings. <laughs> Four calling birds. 
three French hens, two, two turtle, turtle doves, doves. Everybody. and a partridge in a pear tree. Happy holidays, everybody! My son, Bill. I'm happy to see everyone here today. It's wonderful. <clears throat> uh, this is a poem from the late summer. It's called Dream Presence. Our oldest elder is gone now since last July. In one recent dream, I opened her kitchen cabinet there, overflowing from a shelf, were huge leafy red radishes still so fresh. Had they been there for years? During all the times our family, children and parents visited together, laughing and talking, eating bagels and cream cheese, my dream was like old times being with Aunt Dottie in her Long Island home. A waking winter morning, sun shining above our lake, I wonder what it would be like to again walk into our aunt's kitchen, again with scent of food we once shared from a New York deli or Chinese takeout, seltzer, garlic pickles, but never any fresh radishes. It's dream presents. This will actually require some um, audience participation. So uh, I have this collection of poems, uh, 78 of them, one for every card in a standard tarot deck. Uh, now, I could pick one to read for you, but I think it'd be more appropriate to have someone pick the poem using the standard tarot deck. So what I need is a volunteer to pick the poem. The Six of Pentacles. Ah, wealth, provider of opportunity, chance to provide for the improvident. Ah, industry, the great machine, transformer of technology into progress. Let great depressions come, the wealthy shall donate. Let business reside among society. Let business be the measure of all devices. Gold shall buy us the moon by balancing the left hand with the right, in the left hand a checkbook, in the right a phone. As long as there is no doctrine required in this transaction, all shall be secure. Administration ensures all is done correctly not believed correctly. Come, wealth, speak with us, not to us. Worry not whether you own us or not. Only see that we do not misuse your charity, and you, I, we, they, shall all benefit. Thank you. Um, so when trauma happens, it doesn't only affect the victim, but it also affects the people around. Um, when I met my husband, he had just recently lost his sister. And I remember feeling a little bit frustrated that um, he wouldn't talk about her, he wouldn't open up. And um, as time went on and we got more comfortable with each other, he would you know, have little statements like, oh, you know, this reminds me of my sister. And I found those gems of communication um, like gifts. So um, this song is called Open Up To Me. Darling, darling, tell me why Why 
I just wanna be there for you Cause that's what a real woman should do oh, Open up to me I just wanna be there for you Cause that's what a real woman would do oh, Open up to me now I'm not saying go break down Leave all behind, be depressed But honey, you are human too So open up to me I just wanna be there for you Cause you are my king and I'm your queen oh, Open up to me I just wanna be there for you Cause you are my king and I'm your queen oh, Open up to me Darling, darling, tell me why Why I never see you cry When I know what you've been through Open up to me to me thank you uh, back in the spring we uh, we had a uh, Steve Rapson and I did a feature here for our friend Peter Neuendorfer who passed away uh, the previous fall this is a song I wrote for him so. Goodbye, old friend, goodbye and One by one, the stars all flicker out The light is fading in the west Flash of bright and brilliant inspiration Symphonies passing through to trembling hands Each note rises like an incantation To help us understand just what sort of man you were All these memories settling like dust And there's time, all this time Hardly gives us time to understand You were here, you are gone Just like the stars that fade into the dawn A long dark night Searching for the light The sparkle in your eye Goodbye, old friend
goodbye. Thank you so much. I used to wonder why I didn't write more funny poems. It turned out I didn't know chickens yet. <laughs> Fortunately, in addition to grandchildren, I have grandchickens. <laughs> so, this is called Lightning. The hen I would name Lightning if I were naming chickens for that forked gold striking the black hill of her back did today what she schemed all week to do, edged close and closer to my feet, clad in the bright pink boots I save for chicken duty. Anyway, I save for chicken duty, I'm sorry. Rubber pink as the rooster's comb, raspberry, maybe bubble gum. Anyway, she closed in for a quick experimental peck, and when I didn't shout at once, a couple more, peck, peck. In defense of Luna, granddaughter, sweet as a peach down there at chicken level, I figured I'd better demonstrate the dangerousness of humans. Wah, enough. And I chased lightning off toward the cliff, just a ways, feeling somehow favored in spite of myself. <laughs>